All right, yo, what's going on, you guys? I'm Flaparts, and welcome to another Call of Duty Vanguard video, where today we'll be taking a look at one of our operators, which will be Arthur of the Sentinel unit for today's video, along with the rewards you guys get for leveling him up, and actually what happens when you guys max out this operator as well. And also here on the channel, I've got several other operator videos uploaded here, ready and available for you guys to check out if you guys are ever curious about the certain things for other specific operators. So feel free to check those videos out here as well. But just before we hop right into the video, if you guys could drop an early like on the video, that would be absolutely great. And it always helps out for both the video and the channel as well and if you're down there leave a comment down below and let me know which of the operators in this game right now for Call of Duty Vanguard are your favorite operator and why I would love to hear about it but with that said let's get right into the video and so with every operator including Arthur of course they have a set of four regular challenges you guys can complete and for each of those challenges they have three stages to complete that accumulate with higher XP rewards and then finally there are progression rewards for leveling up your operator again for this case Arthur from level 1 to 20 so in our case of Arthur his four regular challenges will consist of the following. The first one is going to be to get three, five, and ten wins as Arthur. The second challenge is going to be to get 50, 100, and 150 kills as Arthur. The third challenge is going to be to get 25, 50, and 100 hip fire kills as Arthur. And then finally, for the fourth challenge, it's going to be to destroy five, ten, and twenty enemy kill streaks as Arthur. And with each tier for these challenges, you'll receive 1,000, 1,500, and 2,500 XP as your rewards. Now moving on to progression rewards, there are 20 levels you guys need to progress through, however your operators automatically start at level 1, so you technically only need to level them through 19 levels to hit the max level of an operator. And as for the actual leveling aspect for your operators, obviously including Arthur, sometimes we have long weekend events where they provide double XP rewards towards leveling up, double weapon XP, clan XP, obviously in this case operator XP and more, so that's something you guys definitely want to check out every weekend because sometimes they do it and sometimes they don't and we also have access to just like double xp tokens and double weapon xp tokens we also now have double operator xp tokens we don't really know exactly how to get more of them there isn't actually a way to get them at the moment and that's only because we're still in the pre-season as of me recording this video for call of duty vanguard so i'm sure as the season starts to progress here we will find out more ways and of course i will update you guys in a future video here on how to get more of those for your operators if you guys are still trying to level them up and so now here are your progressive rewards for all 20 of the levels so starting at level 2, it's going to be called Raise Some Hell as an Operator Equip, which is going to sound like this. Let's raise some hell. Now going into level 3, you're going to get 1500 XP towards regular leveling. Going into level 4, you guys are going to get the Into Action Calling Card, which is going to look something like this here. And then going into level 5, you guys are going to get the Tripped Up Operator MVP Highlight, which looks like this. Moving into level 6, you guys are going to get 1,000 weapon XP towards the Sten SMG because, of course, every operator in this game does have a favorite weapon. In this case, for Arthur, it is the Sten SMG, so that's going to be some great XP for you guys if you guys haven't gone ahead and obviously already started leveling up this weapon. Free XP, free levels for that weapon right there. And then going into level 7, you're going to get the Alliances sticker, as you guys can see here. Going on to level 8, you guys are going to get 2,000 XP towards regular leveling. Going on to level 9, you guys are going to get the South Cross emblem, which is going to look like this here and then going on to level 10 you're gonna get your first new custom operator skin which is gonna be called extractor as you guys can see here and then going into level 11 you guys are gonna get the class ring charm as you guys can see on this here and then going into level 12 you guys are gonna get 1500 weapon xp again but for towards the sten smg again if you guys haven't leveled it up free levels free xp towards leveling up that sten smg going into level 13 you guys are gonna get 2500 regular leveling xp going into level 14 you guys are gonna get the never count me out operator equip which sounds like this never count me out and then over in level 15 you guys are going to get the airborne operator intro which looks like this Now moving into level 16, you guys are going to get 2,000 weapon XP for the Sten SMG, a great way to end off the leveling here. And then going into level 17, you guys are going to get the takedown finishing move, which looks like this. From here, we only have three more levels to go. From level 18, you're going to get 3,000 regular leveling XP. Going into level 19, you guys are going to get a spray called Bone Dome, which looks like this here. And then finally, your last operator skin customizable skin type thing. You guys are going to be getting this Crash Lander skin at level 20, which looks like this here. 
And now to end things off here, I'm sure you guys are still wondering on one of the bigger questions for this video, what happens when you guys actually max out an operator, meaning the maxing out of their level, obtaining all of the level progression rewards and completing all of the four regular challenges, what happens at the end? And the answer to that is you don't actually get anything special for maxing out a single operator's level. No calling card, no emblems, no secret weapon blueprints, unfortunately, or anything like that, which is of course a little bit unfortunate. Like I mentioned in other previous videos, Sledgehammer did do something like this in their previous Call of Duty title for World War II, which did have special rewards for completing their divisions out. But unfortunately, this time around, there's nothing available at the end. However, if you do max out all three of your operators within the same unit, you do get a mastery reward, which includes an exclusive player title and an exclusive operator skin for those particular characters in that unit. But of course, for more information on that, you guys can check out the videos I have here on the channel about it. And so there you guys have it. That's everything you guys need to know about your challenges and progression rewards for your operator, Arthur. And of course, all the remaining other other operators are uploaded here to the channel already so feel free to go ahead and check those out but that's gonna about wrap it up for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed this video if it helped you out or maybe even both consider dropping a like for me on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button the way it goes up set when i upload a new call of duty vanguard video here to the channel and for all my other social media links like twitter twitch discord and more all of that will be linked down in the description below but either way thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys on the flip side Arts out.